Okay, I'm actually high now. This is this can be the actual bill. That shit. <laughs> you know, that's how the world be when you on shrooms. Should be bending and shit a little bit. I'm not on shrooms currently. But how that's bent, that's probably the best way I can describe it. The colors be a little more vibrant and shit like that. It's fucked out. But yeah, I'm gonna let it tell people I'm lying. And then I'm gonna talk about this motherfucker. Topic. So earlier I got an interesting phone call. I can't even front. Uh, I had to jump off live, but we're back. <clears throat> I don't know why, but it feel like a Friday to me. It's like Wednesday. Hump day. It's a nice day for a threesome. Have you one of those? I like the way it made my smoke look like my fucking reflectory. All right, so peep. Man, I was going to talk about my fucking retrograde responsibilities because the other day I had a thought. And then I thought about the thought. And I often think about thinking about my thoughts and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I think that's where the value and the quality of your life is found. Like the that internal dialogue how that shit go that's where that's what your life worth and shit right so if that shit suck your life sucks if that shit dope your life dope if it's dynamic then it's dynamic if it's one way then your life one way if it's you know what I'm saying if it's uh, uh, a tyrant and a dictator and like oppression in there then your life is like reflective of, of, of that sort of shit you know what I'm saying so now we bring in the topic of like retrogrades, right? If if you know how like it be retrograde season, because I picked up my phone the other day, nigga, and everybody was sad or mad, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Now I'm on vacation, so I'm removed typically from my day to day rotation of an energy field. You know what I'm saying? Like me riding through my city every day, spinning the same blocks, driving down the same streets, running the same store to get the same duchess, talking to the same niggas, if the money exchanging the same hands, that energy currency that's occurring between the same motherfuckers, right? I'm away from that. And so I'm largely like isolated like now, doing a live, I'm by myself in the Airbnb, nigga. I'm in my own energy field. If I can think about my thoughts enough to control them, not even really control them. If I think about my thoughts enough to get them in a certain alignment and choose the ones that uh, with the most frequency that have a high vibratory, you know what I'm saying, like feel to them, then I reprogram my brain to do that in a cycle. Because that's all we really do is cycle our thoughts and shit around. So it's like based on our programming. That's why like when you get depressed, nigga, you get depressed again later. Your thoughts are just, they're rotating. It's a carousel. You know what I'm saying? So, if we know all this shit, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could say it, and I could be like, yeah. But a retrograde will come, and then, you know what I'm saying? One of your exes will hit you with some shit. You'll be like, damn, you know, my ex hit me. You know, you, you in a whole different, like, it doesn't knock your equilibrium off, but, like, your day-to-day is, like, changed a little bit. Like, you're thinking about the pers- perspective and projection of your life's different and all that stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I. Especially if you motherfuckers could say, yo, it's retrograde season. All right, so retrograde gonna make you do what? It's gonna make you be sad. It's gonna make you be angry. You know what I'm saying? Or it's gonna make you whatever the fuck it's you typically is motherfuckers be depressed during Mercury retrogrades, I suppose. I think. I don't know. I'm not the motherfucking most astrologist. I'm just going based off of like me being on my phone and me and being on my Twitter and being seeing mad people say, Man, retrograde got me fucked up. Retrograde, retrograde, retrograde. And I'm like, all right, so it must be Mercury, Mercury retrograde season or whatever the fuck in case that is. But whatever that is, that shit got motherfuckers fucked up, right? But why does something have you fucked up if you know what it is? That's what I want to say. Like, it's retrograde responsibility. I think we are all like, all of us, like, like 90% of the woke population, man, depressed as hell, man. 
I don't know, desperate as hell beneath the surface. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a good front and shit. Like, where is the retrograde responsibility? You know what I'm saying? Ain't, like, all of this, like, our, I don't know. You could tell me this if it's different. But I would say, like, in all our purpose in this shit to be, like, um, like, growth and development. So these retrogrades always is fucking happening, man. This should just sound like an excuse for motherfuckers to be sad, depressed, or fucking mean to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, why the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? Especially if you could say it's happening. Like, all right, so your ex call you, right? Now you're thinking about your ex and shit. So the fuck what? What the fuck that shit's supposed to do or have bearings based on what the fuck you really got going on in your day-to-day that you chose? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think retrograde responsibility comes with knowing that, like, I am accountable for not only my my own thoughts, but the execution of my thoughts into reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, it's one thing to think a thing. It's another thing to do it. But it's a whole nother thing to have a, like, a system in place of self where you're so centered in self. That you ain't got to think, oh, it's one thing to think it and to do it. Because you ain't even thinking that stupid shit. That make any sense? And not to say you don't think the stupid shit, but it don't have no impact or weighing on motherfucking what the fuck you got going on. Like, in here, though. Out here, you better always keep this shit correct. Like, I, I like I feel like I'm not talking to... This live is not for your regular person. This live is not for your regular person. This live got to be at least for you. Got to be you damn near a creative or a social genius. If you listening to what I'm saying and this shit is resonating on a level that I'm hoping that is resonating with anyone. You know what I'm saying? Like you, your spirit higher. You got a soul, nigga. Like this is for the, this ain't for the regular people. This ain't for the regular soulless hollows. This ain't for the shells that's just walking around as shells that's just being vessels for different spirits. Because the retrograde come, nigga, all the evil spirits, all the angry spirits, all the depressed spirits, all the sad spirits, they just fill them vessels up. And then these people become the embodiment of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And they like, yo, they walking around and they say, what the fuck wrong with you? Like, Mercury retrograde got me depressed, man. Like, oh shit, they don't even got no soul control accountability. You know what I'm saying? They don't got no accountability for no soul control. Like, where your soul control at, motherfucker? Your soul control got to be strong. Like, niggas can't be weak out here. That's how you see so many motherfuckers folding out here in this external reality. You see so much incongruence with a nigga being like, yo, I want to be like this versus how this nigga actually act out here. And it's like, yo, this nigga ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? But you could know it. Like, how many of y'all know somebody? You like, yo, man, I know that man. You a good nigga, man. You all right, nigga, man. Like, you all right. And it's like, well, what do we do? Like, what, like, what is, like, what is he? Like, what, like, what make him all right? What give him the value? Cause you known the nigga for ten years. Like where, when it, based off of y'all interpersonal relationship, where is the value of contribution of life to even at the very at the at least on the level of soul? Nah, I ain't even, that's too much to be trying to ask for out of niggas. Soul connection is too much to be trying to ask for out of anybody. What we do is 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 wild, cause it's like you think about. Like the tree of life, you think about a tree and the roots and all that shit and the fruit and going up like you start in the roots and then the tree sprout and they got branches and they got leaves and all you think about that shit. And <clears throat> and when they make that that analogy of the tree of life itself, and it's like um uh uh they're using that as a metaphor for life. You gotta think about it in reverse though. That shit works in reverse. So you don't, it, it's not, you, yo, man, this nigga, my nigga from the root, nigga, you know what I'm saying? My nigga from the root, man, this nigga constantly give me water and, and feed my tree. That's one thing, pause, you know what I'm saying? That's not, that's not what I'm saying. When I say that shit got to go in reverse, I'm mad high. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying, though, when I say that shit got to go in reverse. Because what tends to happen is, you don't you meet people. Life, God works through people. So you're not meeting God I mean, you could see God in people that you've known for forever or, you know what I mean? That's not, I'm not discrediting that. But you don't meet God in people that you've known forever often unless you already acknowledge this person to have some level of divinity to them or they display this at some point in time. What I'm saying is your life ain't changed by the people you know. It's changed by the people you don't. And God worked in people. So you meet God 
in these other people. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I lost my train of thought. I hope I get it back. What I was saying. I'm high as fuck. It's a run. Damn. I should have notes. Yo. Oh, we're talking about the tree of life. You meet God through these people, right? <laughs> Yo, give me mine. You meet God through people. So when I meet somebody, I ain't meeting somebody at their root. You know a tree by the fruit. That's the saying. You know a tree by the fruit. So I'm meeting you at your fruit. I ain't meeting you at your root. There ain't no way for me to know how deeply rooted you is into this earth thing. You know what I'm saying? Into this life thing. If earth being the mother and, you know what I'm saying, or God or whatever the fuck. However you want, you know what I'm saying, conceive of that shit for yourself. Like, I don't, ain't no way of telling. Like, that's where my, you know, have no idea shirts come from. Because I don't have no idea what the fuck it took for you to get here. You know what I'm saying? You don't have no idea what it took for me to get here. But you're meeting me at my fruit. You knowing me for my fruit. How does the fruit of me taste like in my in our interpersonal relationship and me knowing you? How is that fruit? How has that been in bringing it back around to what I was saying when you meet people? Like, what makes them all right? Like, nigga, what kind of fruit do you like? I think a lot of what us in our culture, like, because our, our culture is corny. That was the other topic that I was going to debate doing, but... It's like, man, we like some trash-ass fruit, man. You know what I'm saying? And then we get mad at the fruit that we eat, but it's the fruit we chose. You know what I'm saying? And then we only deal with people on the fruit level. We don't really go into the mind of them. You know what I'm saying? We don't jump into the bushes of people and climb through the branches of them to get to even see to know the roots or become a part of the roots. We don't graft ourselves into the lives, but that's what gypsies do. Gypsies come into life because we travel. So we're going to graft ourselves into the lives of others, into trees. But you got to be of service. Can't be no bad gypsy. Can't be a good gypsy. But when that happens, you also is imbuing these people's energy field. Until I just was telling somebody it was crazy because I, I didn't really know them. And I was wondering why like I, they were so cool to me or familiar. And it's because we was raised by the same energy field of people. Just at different times. So, like, we wasn't around each other. You know what I'm saying? And so, it's like, yeah, we, yeah, we didn't. We don't know each other like that, but we kind of do. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's like I know you was getting the same uh, 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 influence of energy that I was receiving. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm high. Not a soul joined this live, and I don't think a soul was supposed to. But I hope when people see it, they fuck with it. This was the real burning bill for today. Yo, go follow House of Slices. Get you a House of Slices shirt. This ain't, this is embroidered. Oh, yeah, this ain't motherfucking. This ain't silk screen or vinyl, motherfucker. This is thread. Needles and shit. It's like a tattoo on a shirt. Not a pasty on a shirt. House of Slices. Go get you some. The socks is fire too. Hell yeah. Get you some G-Spot Lemonade. www.gypsyclothes.net Shipping it out to motherfuckers, man. Order this shit. Like infused drinks. I promise you it's the best infused drink you ever had. It is definitely the best lemonade you ever had. For sure. Like lemonade. Get some lemonade, yo. Yeah. Some lemonade, yeah. G-spot lemonade. G-spot lemonade. How about that? Sweet spot. Hit the G-spot, girl. Get that bitch and hit the G-spot. Right. Anyway. Oh, the cartoon returning. Yeah. Vacation's a perfect time to learn a new skill. So I'm learning a new skill. It's hard. 
For all my creators, I guess this could be the second part of the burn where I smoke this roach. Motherfucking find something that is of value to learn and learn it, even if it's difficult. I'm self-taught in most of the things that I do, but um, I'm at the I'm at the upper. I'm in the upper half of the intelligence distribution, so like I, most things are usually easy to me. What I'm trying to learn right now is not um, at all, and I'm having a hard time with that shit. But I like that too, though, because it's like every time I, you know what I'm saying, fuck with it and try to, and I'm trying to learn it. I don't like losing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm going to figure this shit out. You know what I mean? I do wish I had a teacher. I, I, I say if you're a creative and you know people that is into the shit that you want to do, like, nigga, humble yourself and ask them to show you. Save yourself some motherfucking time. Like, ask them to teach you the way. Like, show you the basics. Um, there's no shame in asking for help if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You know what I'm saying? No. I believe in doing the wrong action more than I believe in doing no action because it's like, well, fuck it. Like, try to learn. Fuck it up. You may learn on the way. You know what I'm saying? Why are you fucking some shit up? You may learn. You know what I'm saying? But shit, that's learning the hard way. Learning the hard way, man. You may take losses. That's irreversible. You know what I'm saying? So you don't really want to learn things the hard way. You know, especially not if you can have a guy. If you can, I don't currently know anybody <laughs> that can even teach me what the fuck I'm trying to do, so... That's also, too, how I know that what I'm trying to do will benefit my life greatly. I just gotta learn how to do this shit. Is it? Don't give up, man. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up. Figure that shit out. Keep going back to the drawing board. Keep getting back in the gym. Keep practicing. Even if you don't feel like you're making no repetition of progress, like if you're in YouTube University for something, like I'm currently in YouTube University, like just keep watching the videos, like just watch them bitches on repeat, just like, just keep watching them. Because even if you're not understanding what, what they're saying and what you're seeing, because what you're trying to do is so far beyond what you can typically do or have been accustomed to doing or know what to do, or you ain't got no school and you ain't go to school for this shit, so you don't really know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, know, just keep watching them shits, yo. Because what I think would have happened, and nah, not what I think, what I know, because it's, it's happened in other areas of life that I'm pretty sure can cross-reference here. This is why I'm having this due diligence. Because just keep watching them, keep watching them, keep watching them. Because once whatever clicks for you that needs to click for you, and you get it, all of that shit that you just watched mad like hours or that you just repeated trying to do or that you just was in the gym working on, you was in your game room, like really plotting, you was out your blueprint, you know what I'm saying, your, your, your drawing board, whatever, however, whatever analogy you want to use for you trying to get busy, you know what I'm saying, like, you're going to keep doing that shit, keep doing that shit, and then when that click happens, you're going to have a whole reference pool of knowledge that can now be applied because you'll understand, oh, that's what that was. Okay, that's what that, oh, all right, yo, all right, so all I had to know how to do is this right here because I really think that that's like my disconnect right now. And I don't really want to talk about what the fuck it is that I'm trying to learn, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I ain't showing nobody or, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't telling the world about it or nothing. Just know that I'm on sabbatical because I wanted to take a time away to get away, to give myself space to like creatively get re-inspired to do, you know what I'm saying, something new that I haven't done. And as far as like, and I initially, that was as far as like clothes and animation and getting back into cartoons and shit like that. But now it's, I, I, I've been away for like about two weeks. Not even. But anyway, yeah, the click done, done, done happened. Where I'm starting to have other ideas and shit like that. I'm, I'm being around different energy fields again. So, you know what I'm saying? My spirit being impacted the, 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 the 
I'm walking barefoot, you know what I'm saying, different states again. So the epigenetics of the environment is going to work again. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm walk I'm spending my time like I'm living, breathing, having my state of being in existence on uh a different mineral bed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a different uh like like this state sits on a different type of rock formation than like that state. So it's like we think about life like crystals and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like each place vet radiate different. So like I'm in a different place. So I'm like fucking with a different bitch. You know what I'm saying? And so you know a, a different bitches get like different like sides of you and shit. You know what I mean? So you spending time with a different bitch giving that of a different side of you then you working in the growth and development of that space of you. You spending your time moving around then what you're doing is overall that's why gypsies are usually very well-rounded people. People that travel a lot are typically pretty cultured because they've seen the same uh, 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 habitual nature dynamics displayed in various other places you know what i'm saying so it's like in 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 various ways so then you begin to see the the you see all the nuance but you then when you see all the nuance in various ways in various places you begin to see the similarity in each nuance you know what i'm saying enough to know the nature enough to even be able to say okay well shit nigga i done been up north and down south nigga I know if I'm somewhere and they get quiet, niggas start jumping on their phones, nigga. This is a flag, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I might need to get the fuck up out of here. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying. But anyway, man. <clears throat> anyway. Man, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Right, y'all, man. Ain't nobody even joined this live. Don't nobody know what the fuck I'm talking about. No one cares about this shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to roll me some weed, man. Fuck yeah, I'm about to roll me some weed and go back to YouTube University and watch these videos about this shit. I, I, I know for a fact when, when I do figure it out, motherfuckers gonna think I went to school for some shit. They're gonna be like, how the fuck did you, where the fuck, how the, bruh, I already know that I'm gonna get that kind of reaction. And so... I ain't even gonna get the big head and be telling everybody, well, I'm about to be doing this real soon. Watch this. Wait till I become like that. I ain't even gonna do it. I'm gonna just shut the fuck up and, and get in the lab. So, like, if you fuck with this sort of shit, if you fuck with my lives, like, only the people that really fuck with me watch my lives or the people that really hate me. And either way, you're really interested. Um, but then you know, trust me, I'm in. Man, I'm giving myself like 30 days. So I'm not sure. If I ain't. It, if I'm right here at the same level of ignorance in 30 days, I probably won't even be fucking with social media. Cause I'll probably be a mad motherfucker. Ain't no way I'm too I'm 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 too I'm too smart. I can learn it, I can figure it out. And if another nigga could do it, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. And I don't need to I, I can do it. I wish like a motherfucker I had a teacher, because I got some questions. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing when I'm trying to do this shit. <laughs> Yo, it is crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, it done cost me some money already. Um, Yo, man, don't give up on yourself. Stay motivated. If you got something that you're trying to do and you want sure, keep it close to chest or share it with your, you know what I'm saying, your most, your valued people, the people that you fuck with. You know what I mean? And you can get pumped up to do your shit. Whatever it is, man, you can do that shit. I know because I don't been able to do everything I had ever wanted to do, so... You can too. If you relate, we relate it. That's all about.